Beast TV is proudly supported by Cooperators Insurance. Discover the difference we're making in your community. Today on Beast TV, we'll check out what was happening on the trails last weekend. Catch up with the Beast Trail Patrol. Find out when the next Beast Club meeting is and discover what's in Krusty's mailbox. These stories and more as Beast TV starts now. Welcome back to another edition of Beast TV. I'm your host, Kren Hunt. Were you unable to attend the last Beast Club meeting? That's okay, I'm looking forward to meeting you at the next one on February 2nd at Danby's Bar and Grill, located in Munster. Danby's is located just off Beast 203 trails and is accessible by snowmobile. I think I can hear my dad warming up his sled. For complete details, check out our website at www.snowmobile.on.ca. Now let's check in with Andrew, who after weeks of grumbling is finally riding the trails. As many of you know, I've been asking Dave for weeks now if I can get out and ride, and I've finally been able to get out snowmobiling and the trail conditions are awesome. Unfortunately, Dave is not able to be with us this week, but in his absence, he has asked that I provide the trail update. You would think that with the trails open, the workload has been reduced, but this week the club volunteers have been working as hard as ever. Last Saturday, the Northeast Groomer sheared the Pinto Hitch off, which required a rescue mission at minus 25 degrees Celsius. And later in the week, the tracks of the Southwest Groomer required repair. Others have responded to complaints about snowmobilers venturing off trail, dangers lurking below the snow, and still brushing and clearing operations continue. Many thanks to all the volunteers who work tirelessly to ensure our trails are in the best conditions possible for us to ride. The weather conditions this week brought some snow and freezing rain to the area, making for some overhanging branches and downfall so we request that all riders ride with caution at all times. 95% of the trails are now marked as either open or limited, and considering the general lack of snow in the area, the trails are in excellent condition. Get out and ride, and don't forget to support those who support us. The kids at school are saying the beast trail conditions are the best shape they have been in in a number of years. Let's hope the forecast for rain this week is wrong. I've heard Andrew ran into Beast Trail Patrol Team shortly after his trail report. And when Beast TV returns, we'll check back in to make sure that he made it through the checkpoint. Beast TV, brought to you in part by Muirhead Contracting and Home Renovations. If you can dream it, we can build it. Murray Heating, Air Conditioning and Refrigeration. Quality Service and Installation. Perth Motors, your number one choice for tires. Sani Sol Pool and Spa your water care experts. During the break I was speaking with Andrew and he advised me he was fully compliant. He is standing by live with a few members of Trail Patrol team. Thanks Grin, I'm here on the Beast A Trail in the southwest sector and I've caught up with one of the members of the Beast Trail Patrol team. Could you tell me what your name and role is in the club? Hi, I'm uh, Darren McRae. I'm responsible for the Trail Patrol Coordinator and Instructor. I'm basically responsible for coordinating all the trail patrols for the Beast uh, area. What is the role of Trail Patrol? Basically, there's four parts. We act as landowner agents, so we issue notice of trespass for those people that don't carry permits. We also promote safe riding, which is probably the best thing we do. And we act as um, identify and report unsafe uh, conditions, like here we're just fixing some signage. And the last thing to do is provide on-trail so on, uh, support to people, maps, uh, if they need some help, directions, fuel, food, that sort of thing. 
How many trail patrols are there in the Beast? We have about 16 active members to the trail uh, patrol system. Uh, each person is a volunteer, they're not paid, um, and they use their own equipment to do uh, trail patrol work. How long have you been involved with trail patrol? I've been involved with the trail patrol uh, here in the Beast for about five years, but we have several members that I would describe as being trail patrol member for decades. We'll leave the actual years off. What are the consequences for not having a trail pass, Darren? Firstly, the uh, trail permits themselves are instruments of the Ministry of Transportation of Ontario. And basically, owners of snowmobiles without a trail pass are considered trespassing when they're on an OFSC trail. These owners who are operating a snowmobile without a trail pass are issued a notice of trespass to property charge and are asked to leave the trail system. We then liaise with our contacts within the City of Ottawa Marine Dive Trails Unit or the OPP to have the charge laid by the police. What is the potential fine for not having a trail pass? The Motorized Snowmobile Act requires snowmobiles to have a properly displayed permit to operate on an OFSC trail. Without that permit, a snowmobile can receive a fine of up to $1,000. Really? You want to make sure you have a trail pass. Exactly. Have you uh, caught many drivers this year without a trail pass? Sadly, we have caught a few. We have stopped over about 100 sleds over the last several weeks, and the majority of people are compliant. We have found about six to ten people that were not compliant, and these people were issued warnings. Really? As long as I purchase a permit and carry it with me, I'm okay, right? Not exactly. Uh, basically, the Motorized Snow Vehicle Act sets placement rules, including that a trail permit must be attached to the bottom center of the windshield or to the top engine hood as close as possible to the windshield. The permit must be cl uh, clearly visible at all times, and ideally the center of the windshield is the best position to, s to position it so that trail patrol and police can easily see the pass and they may not stop you. Do trail patrol only go out on weekends? No, we patrol when basically people are riding, so we patrol during the day, weekends, weeknights, rain, hopefully it's not raining, but when it's snowing, sunny. Um, so we basically try to go out when people are out too. We want people to ride safe. Well. Thanks to Darren and his team of dedicated volunteers for patrolling the trails this year so far. Please make sure you permanently apply your pass to your snowmobile before you ride. And remember, ride safe, ride sober. I certainly don't want to be held up when I'm out riding, so I'll make sure I have my trail pass permanently as fixed to my snowmobile. Now let's find out the questions, comments, and requests that have landed in Krusty's mailbox. Hello and welcome to Krusty's mailbox. I will take a few minutes to review a few of the questions and comments posted through emails, website submissions, and our brand new Facebook page. Our first question comes from Terry M. My son is looking to get a snowmobile license, and we are wondering if you are running a course in the future or could recommend a location. Well, Terry, our last course was last weekend, and it was pretty full. If you weren't able to make it, we're always looking to gauge interest to see if we can host another course. Please send an email or contact us with your child's name and phone number so we can gauge interest in order to schedule another course in the future. Dennis M. asked, why is the trail marked as limited going to Wait Lake? It should be marked as closed if it hasn't been groomed this year. Hi Dennis, you're right, it is listed as limited. The OFSC definition of limited is passable by snowmobile and doesn't necessarily mean it has been groomed. The White Lake Trail is traditionally one of the last trails that we have the ability to get out on. It needs much more snow than any of the other trails in the beast system. And this year, Mother Nature has not been nice to us. Last weekend, we did actually go out and send the groomer up to White Lake. Unfortunately, due to breaking through in a few locations, he had to run the roads and the West Carlton Trail system in order to return home safely. Sean B. asked, does the OFSC have a free pass weekend like they do in Quebec? Unfortunately not, Sean. When I asked the question to the OFSC, the answer that came back is that the MTO would not allow this. Unfortunately, we don't have it. Ryan had the following to say, I am new to the area and wanted to say, you folks do a fantastic job with your website and seem like an amazing group. When will your new trail map be available? Well, Ryan, I have the sporty new orange trail map, or 
trail guide, as the OFSC would call it, in my hand now. A few boxes arrived on my doorstep late last weekend, and they should be in the dealerships by the end of this week. Angie McCarty asked, Does this work? Who gets these messages? Yes, Andrew. Submitting questions through the website does work, and I did get your message. Ryan S. had the following to say, An absolutely fantastic job on Beast TV. Incredible stuff and very good production. Who needs snow tracks or snowmobile or television when you've got Beast TV? Keep up the impressive work, and kudos to all of you at the club for such a well-organized group and website. Congratulations to everyone who worked hard on the CP Trail down with Neely. Thanks, Ryan, and thank you to everyone who sent your compliments on the past BTV episodes. It was a lot of work, but we believe it was well worth it. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to send them our way, and they might just get answered next time on Krusty's Mailbox. That's all the time we have today for Beast TV. Please remember the show is taped one week in advance, and always check the Beast website for the latest trail conditions. I'm your host, Kern Hunt. Till next time, keep your thumb on the throttle and the rubber side down. Special thanks to the following volunteers who helped make this week's episode possible. Take three. So trail trespass. Trail and trespass. <laughs> <laughs> trespass are issued a notice to property. I don't know why I can't say it. <laughs> it's hard, eh? It's not as easy. The trail and the You've trail been doing really good so far, though. <laughs> See you, <so. laughs>